Lad was our sixth director of the campus. I decided after looking at all these directors, deans, and chancellors was clearly the most consequential leader in the history of the institution. Once he got to Rolla, he realized the challenge ahead of him. The campus had four really poorly maintained buildings. The Rolla building, that was the main institutional building. The building that Chancellor Degani now lives in, which was called the Clubhouse, which is really our first dormitory. Then a small chemistry laboratory building. Then the fourth building was the first power plant, which was also the building where we had uh, labs for mines and metallurgy. In reading the uh, chancellors of the university, as they were called directors back then, and George Ladd seemed just absolutely hands off, above and beyond everybody else on the list. He wanted to impress upon the legislators in the state of Missouri that Missouri School of Mine is underfunded and facilities are not adequate enough. They came to campus and what he did was that he arranged every single student to assemble in one building, which was the old chemistry building, the building that Larry just described. And so he took all these legislators in there, half drunk, and they saw the entire building just bursting at the seams. So, of course, they were convinced that the, this is not an adequate space for engineering education. So he says, well, wait till I show you the next building. So he takes them all out front door and somebody takes all the students and they go from back door and they go to this other building. And all these guys go to the next building and see, wow, this building is bursting at the seams as well. And when the legislatures go back to St. Louis, they're interviewed by all, all the reporters. And to the person, they say, Missouri School of Mines is inadequately facilitated. And they doubled the revenues for the school. Now that is hard earned money. So indeed, he hires a father and son that the father was a graduate of the School of Mines and they come here to Rolla and design and build this building, which to me is the most beautiful building that we have on campus today. Look at this building. This looks like really a Yale building. He never ever received the recognition that he deserved. In fact, he was very bitter to the end that nobody recognized what he did for this campus. Just to, just to give you a sense, He's the guy that put sidewalks in Rolla for the first time. There is a lot that this gentleman did, and I asked around, is there anything named after him? And the answer was no. So I went to Andy and I said, Andy, we gotta do something. You know, I know it's a little late, but we better do something. There should be a recognition. Frankly, I feel a lot better for just this very little gathering and recognition and the fact that people walk in this building and see George E. Ladd's picture here. One of the things that he said when he was really bitter about the fact that he was not recognized, he said, hell, I saved the school. So this mark says, I saved the school without the nasty word that they didn't let me put on there.